start to near the finish line, you may realize that you have a few tough areas that require hand painting to refine exposure. What I'm going to do here is first apply a global tone. I can do this using the tone curve. And this makes it easy to emphasize regions. For example, let's apply just a little lift to the shadows and a slight recovery to the highlights. And this gentle S curve does a nice job. If I pull in from the sides here, you'll see it increases the contrast of the image as well, giving me pure whites and pure blacks. It's not a bad idea to turn on clipping indicators to make sure that you're not getting any unwanted clipping. I see a little bit here in the grass and a little bit on the top of the lighthouse, but not too much and I'm satisfied with that. Additionally, you can look at an individual channel. For example, the blue channel here doesn't have as much detail as red and green. So I can switch to the blue channel down here and apply a little lift or a little pull down. And you see it adds emphasis. What I'm going to do is actually deal with the shadowy regions here, putting a little bit more blue into the shadows and just lift the highlights ever so slightly. So you've got separate control over the overall curve or a per channel curve. And feel free to click through the histogram to see what you're doing and how it affects things. All right, that's looking really good, but I wanna take advantage of some specific changes. The process of dodging and burning is literally painting with light or shadows. And Aurora HDR makes it easy to brush this right into the image. I'm gonna choose dodge and burn and click Start Painting. Now what we can do is paint light or shadow. I'll start with Lighten and adjust the size of my brush. You also can adjust the feathering on the brush if needed. Shift left and right bracket will refine the feather and left and right bracket adjust the brush size. I'm just gonna paint here on the lighthouse itself to brighten it. There we go. And if I get something I don't want, I could choose Erase and pull that out. Lighten. Let's get a lot of feathering on that. Gentle Blend. So it has a gentle transition. Now, initially, this is too much, and that's on purpose, just so I can really see what I'm doing. So the default values are going to be a little high. But that's why we have an amount slider over here. There we go. I could choose Erase and Remove or Lighten. Let's zoom in here and paint that in. Now, you might see a little bit of a redraw as you first paint, and then it starts to update. There we go. Let me clean that up just a little bit. I'm going to adjust the strength here so it's not quite as strong. And paint along that edge. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. Grab Darken and get a nice big brush. But lower strength. And I'm just going to darken the grass over here a little bit. Toning that down. Now, I'll click Done, and it's applied. But again, it's too strong. That was just so we can see it. Using the Amount slider here, I'm going to back that off significantly. I don't want it to be much, but you see at just a small value there, it creates a nice lift. And it made it very easy to brush in with light. Slightly lifting the lighthouse and slightly darkening the vegetation here in the foreground. All right, that's looking really good.